So the question was, two part, was one, how long are short sales going to be around, right? And then the second part of the question was, how do we handle these tra transactions a little differently than, say, a normal transaction? So one, I think short sales are here to stay. Um, whether it's right or wrong, good or bad, we know that the majority of loan modifications don't work uh, for a multitude of reasons. Mainly, uh, lenders are refusing to reduce principal balances, and when homeowners are as far underwater as they are in most parts of the U.S., including San Diego, it doesn't make a lot of sense, oftentimes, to stay in the home regardless of what happens to the payment. So, one, loan modifications are failing in large numbers. There's an increasing number of people underwater, and... Uh, prices are still stagnant, unemployment's high. So for a multitude of reasons, we think short sales are here to stay, right? Would everybody agree with that? Okay. Um, and then the second part, so how long? I would say two, three years, four years, several years before we get through all of the inventory and the short sales that we have. Uh, and then the second part of the question was, you know, how do we handle this transaction differently than a normal transaction? Uh, well, I think, first of all, we have to remember, you know, we're here to work with the sellers. We have an obligation to deliver uh, a fiduciary obligation to deliver on the seller's objectives. And so let's look real quick at their objectives. The objectives in a short sale are to get out from underneath the house and wipe out the debt with as little damage as possible. Different than a normal transaction, where in a normal transaction we want to sell for as much as we can and negotiate the best terms that we can for our seller, where in a short sale it's a little different. We're not always concerned about price. Uh, we're concerned about listening, we're concerned about uh, getting our, this is an emotional time, we want to get our sellers out with as little damage as we can and uh, without having to pay any money uh, and get them out from underneath the house in a dignified fashion with as little stress as possible. So the objectives are different, so how do we handle the transaction differently? Well, we have to keep in mind our sellers' objectives and then we have to deliver on those things. Is that clear?